Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So one of my viewers asked me if I would do a video showing how to scrap computer keyboards. As you can see behind me, I have two larger ones as well as a smaller one from a laptop. The nice thing about keyboards is they are very easy to take apart. They all have silver inside of them. Some of them have tin, some of them have uh, aluminum, some of them have batteries still. Um, that were not taken out. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to take them apart, show you how to identify and sort the material, as well as maximize your profit. Unfortunately, there is a lot of plastic on keyboards, but what I like to do after I finish sorting the scrappable metal, I will take the rest of the keyboard, I will bring it to a, an electronic uh, drop-off facility, and they can further send it off to the proper place to be recycled and diverted from the landfill properly. So the first thing I do want to mention here is you always want to look on the bottom. There's usually a backup battery system, as you can see. This one actually had the two batteries uh, still inside of it. These batteries are your common household batteries. These actually at a scrapyard right now in London, Ontario are going for 10 cents a pound. And you do want to make sure you separate these from, let's say your car batteries and your lawnmower batteries. Um, these are, like I said, uh, their own category. And what I do is I will store them up in a container like this, easy to transport. There's actually four pounds here as well. Safer, um, some of them do leak, so you do wanna make sure that you don't get any of the, the leakage in your garage or anywhere else. So easy to store here, but you do wanna make sure your household batteries are separated from other batteries. So 10 cents a pound here. And these are not a pound, but like I said, I throw them in the bin and they add up. Um, the other thing, and I am gonna focus on this one. If I put a magnet to this one, you can see the magnet does stick. This one, however, does not stick. So this shows me that this one does have uh, a nice bit of tin in here. This one does not stick. And that's because this is actually aluminum. So easy to take off. There's some screws on this one that I just need to take off. And this aluminum plate will be going into my aluminum pile. Uh, this would be probably about 40 to 45 cents a pound Canadian, which is a nice price. And I just throw it in with all my clean sheet aluminum. Uh, easy to store up. I am focusing on this one. There are a couple screws that I have to take out. So just gonna do that very quickly. My screws, I have a magnet here. I always just put them on there and afterwards, um, I will put my screws into a bin and if you've watched some of my videos, you know that I always collect my screws uh, and throw them into a, in a container. As you can see here, this container, all my screws, nuts, nails, bolts that come out of my scrapping, I like to put in a container. Once that container is full, it's going to be about 10 pounds worth. Um, all of your screws, doesn't matter how small they are. They all go towards your uh, steel price, which is about 10 to 13 cents a pound. So everything counts. And the nice thing is, is I have not had to pay for screws in years because I always find them on my scrap time. So the screws are all out of here. All I'm gonna do very quickly is just peel this now. I might actually have to tap it with a hammer just to loosen it up. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to slide apart. Hopefully, I can, there it is. So easy to do. Just gonna pull this. I hope I got all the screws. Sometimes the screws are hidden. I know there's gonna be a screw right in that. There it is. Under the sticker. But I'm gonna just pull this up because this is garbage anyway. I can't find it. But there we go, easy to do. Now, the nice thing about this is I don't want to turn this over too much because if I turn this over, my some of my um, keys are gonna fall out. So I'm gonna leave this intact. This is plastic, so there is no scrap value to this. But as I said, I am gonna bring this back to my scrap yard or my uh, uh, electronic Debo facility. Here is a cool looking little stretchy band. Uh, that's garbage. Here inside is a nice circuit board. And these are actually what you call 
a silver mallard board. All of your circuit boards have them. Um, you also find these, and I'm just gonna pull it up, I just wanna make sure. It does have pins on it. There's the steel plate. But just gonna pull out this silver mallard board. Now, these boards, you actually find these on all keyboards. You find these on any type of appliance or electronic that has push buttons like microwaves and um, uh, any types of um, uh, buttons, if you will. Uh, I do have an example right here. This is off of a microwave that one of my students actually gave me a couple days ago. Uh, shout out to Ainsley Haywood, Haywood sorry, and your family for the microwave. Uh, it's nice that I'm actually getting students now emailing me saying, hey, we have a microwave here or a different uh, appliance if you want to take it apart. So thank you, Ainsley and family for the microwave. And I just want to quickly show this one as well. This is off of the door of a microwave. The, your, are your push buttons. If I turn it over, you can start seeing a silver mallard board there too. And all I'm going to do on this is actually just take a knife and I'm going to peel this up the door frame to reveal the silver mallard. There's my cover. There is underneath the second layer there. There it is. Get under it with a knife. Just pull this up. It comes through the slot. And there is my silver mallard board as well. You can see I just got to peel the, the numbers off there. Uh, but what I do with these is I will actually collect these uh, and put them into a, con a container. Hopefully one day these, if I put nitric acid on them, it will dissolve the plastic, leave me just the silver. Uh, as you can see, there is actually three and a half ounces um, in just this pile. I actually have about a pound and a half of these. So I do find tons of different microwaves. There you are, there's a silver mallard board. So all the silver inside of that, just going to give me some free silver. So again, same thing with these keyboards. Love these things. This is obviously a larger one. Um, and this is not heavy, uh, believe me. This is not heavy at all. This is not even an ounce. But again, uh, free silver, uh, great precious metal to collect. Uh, silver comes on a lot of things. If you're interested in finding silver, there's a great video I have called Scrapping for Free Silver. So Silver Mallard, and all three of these are going to have this. The last thing on this one, again, there is my metallic or magnetic plate. I'm just going to pry this up, take this out. There are a couple screws. There's a screw there. Again, more screws. Sometimes you'll have so many screws that uh, your magnet gets full. But uh, again, nice thing to be able to put away, especially considering tin steel price right now is at 10 to 13 cents a pound, uh, which is an amazing price. Tin used to stay high. All right, so there's a couple screws. I have a little teeny tiny circuit board here as well that I'm going to show you as well. Want to make sure I get this last panel out. All right. So here again is a nice steel tin plate. This is uh, almost a pound. Just fold it up. Easy to transport. Like I said, 10 to 13 cents a pound for tin. This circuit board here, I have. It's a small one, but circuit boards are also worth money at a scrapyard. This circuit board does have, if I take it up to the camera, a small crystal oscillator. I do collect these. Uh, these do have a small a bit of silver in them as well. And um, I actually just put them into a bin. As you can see here, nice container of crystal oscillators. Um, this does not, if I look at it, have any gold on it, but I have seen some circuit boards from computers have gold for sure. Uh, so you do want to make sure you check. Here is a little bit of what we call 60% copper uh, appliance wire. Um, very small strand, but again, gonna put this into my 60% copper recovery. There is one layer of plastic uh, copper inside. So it's actually going for uh, $2.03 a pound. I throw it all into bags um, and it's easy to um, collect. But again, little oscillator. This circuit board, I might get at a scrapyard for this one because there is really no precious metal on here other than the crystal oscillator. 
five to six cents a pound. This is definitely not even close to an ounce, but I do get a lot of circuit boards. And as I said, there is a small spring on here too that is metal. I could take a pair of pliers and just pull that out. The rest of this, just going to actually just box it up like this. Uh, and I will just probably put some tape on it and send it to um, the processing facility. Uh, they will be able to recycle the plastic better um, and definitely divert it from the trash. So that's great. Uh, these ones as well, same thing. These are gonna have the silver or mallard in it, circuit board, um, a little bit of tin. This one did not come with batteries. Okay. And again, as I said, this one, once I take off the screws, there is gonna be some clean aluminum on this one, um, as well as some beautiful silver and a small circuit board. So very easy to do, very simple, short video. Hope that helped. Please continue um, asking questions and commenting. And if there's any uh, material that I can scrap and show you how to do, I'm more than happy to do that. Please comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.